Hi guys, from my screen, you can see I have a balance of $28.28 and I have made this money passively. So in this video guys, I'll show you guys how you can start making money passively that we are accumulating to this amount. So without further ado guys, let's dive right into it. I'm Chito Olujina. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this channel, I teach you guys how to make money online, how to invest your money and make your money work for you as well. So you might consider hitting that red subscribe button below and turning on the bell notification so you'll be notified each time I drop awesome videos like this. That being said, I'll show you guys how to register on this wonderful platform that's going to be paying you guys passive income just by putting a single effort once one time and start making money passively. I'll show you guys how to do that. So this website is called udemy.com. I'll leave a link below in the description box. So watch this video to the very end so you know all the secrets and tips on how to make this happen. So Udemy is basically a website whereby tutors or people that teach other people how to do stuff. So basically, if you have any skill, maybe a graphic designer, you know how to move, use Photoshop, how to use AI, and all that. So you can start teaching people how to use that. So that's basically what you did is it's like an online school an online school whereby you have many courses that someone can buy and learn from so i have many courses on udemy already i have a youtube course check the first link on the description box below you see my link to the udemy course my youtube course that you can start earning up to 1000 us dollars per month so buy the course and know how so it's just a course a platform where you can upload your course and you earn money passively and this Udemy is not talked on by most people online on YouTube. I don't know the reason, but it's a very good way to start making online money passively. And the great thing is all passive income. So that being said, here is Udemy.com. I'll leave a link below in the description box so you can easily access this wonderful website. So quickly come here, they say sign up. Click on sign up to load up an interface whereby you add, they will ask you for your full name. I'll add you to original they will ask you for your email address and your password so this is the email address i want to use she do original 247 at gmail.com so hit me up on that email address if you have any business proposition you want to engage me with she do original 247 at gmail.com so now put a password i'll put a password that i can easily remember so i want to use this password for the purpose of this tutorial so this is the password i want to use so this is the password then yes i want to get news out of udemy emails and exclusive deals personal recommendation and tips so this is optional if you want to receive tips and all that on how to make better use of udemy you can check this if not uncheck it so after that simply click on sign up so once you click on sign up this is the next interface you are going to see what's the next step in your career answer two quick questions for personalized recommendations that match your goals. What's your current career goal? So enter a new field, advance in my current field, become a manager in my field, advance as a manager. So select as your own implies. I'll just put this and click on next. So the next question is, what profession are you learning for? So you might put the profession you are learning for or whatever you, you are doing. So if you want to learn for design, you can put design here animator whatever the uh, stuff you want to learn for just put it here web design whatever you can have multiple things so for the purpose of this tutorial I'll just leave it at web designer so put it as your own implies to help them in you know, the type of courses they will send to you via email so that's the tips that I just checked while registering so after that this is the next interface they will send you a verification email to verify your email so after this what you want to do is click on udemy teach on udemy so come here that they say teach on udemy click on teach on udemy it will now switch the interface now and you are now the teacher so you can upload courses so udemy basically have two two fronts they have the front of the teacher and the front of the student so if you switch to teacher you upload courses and earn money if you switch to student you buy courses here you spend money 
So, but the first proposal this tutorial, I want you to be the teacher. So, you have to teach, upload courses on this platform, and over time, people will be buying the course and you start making money. So, that's basically how it works. So, this is Udemy Learning. So, come here and click on Become an Instructor or a Teacher. It's the same thing. So, you earn money from being a, a teacher. So, Share your knowledge, any knowledge that you have, maybe a graphic designer, your web designer, whatever you are good at, you can share your knowledge and earn money personally. What kind of teaching have you done in person, formally? If you have done any teaching, just put it here. If you haven't, say you haven't, so I might just put online because I do basically online teaching. How much of video pro are you? I'm a beginner, I have some knowledge, I'm, I'm experienced. I have videos ready to upload, whichever the case is, okay, put it here and click on continue. So do you have an order to share your course with? Not at the moment, I have small following, I have a sizable following, I have a sizable following for my own case, I have you guys in my YouTube audience, but as your own case implies, just check it and simply click on continue and it will load up another interface. They will ask you some information again. Hey guys, after filling that information, here is where you can create your own course. So, as you can see, jump to course creation. So, if I click here, I'll start creating my course. But before I create my course, I want to show you guys what you have to do in order to get the best. Come here, you see where they say tools. Click on tools. You see where they say test video. So, if you have a video, you can test the quality of the video and get feedback from Udemy experts. Udemy have experts here that will test your video and know if it will perform well and tell you uh, things to amend and all that so you can test your video here. But well, here is what I want to check. Marketplace Insight. Just simply click on Marketplace Insight. So before you create any course, you have to do a research because if you create course without knowing the number of people that are searching for that particular course, you might not do well. So this is just to show me how the interface looks like. Click on next, next, get started. This is just like a talk. So, what course topic are you interested in? So, you put the topic that you want to start creating. For instance, I might say web design. I might say web design. I'll click on search. So, it will now bring out the demand how many people, how many people are searching for web design. So, student demand for web design is high. A lot of persons are searching for web design. Number of courses is high as well. So this is not a good uh, topic to uh, start uh, making course on, creating any course on. This web design is not a good uh, course to create because it has high number of courses. Although it has high student demand, but it has high volume. So there's a lot of competition here. Then here is the medium monthly revenue. As a beginner, you might earn twenty-one dollars every month for this. But if you are an expert and your course is very good and professional, you can earn up to 9,000 per month. So this is very good. So if you are creating your course, make it professional and authentic. So I won't encourage you guys, they have other statistics here, but I won't encourage you guys to go for this. So I'll search for another one until I find something that is a bit low on demand or low, low in competition. I might say travel photography. Let me see how many courses it has. If it has no competition, okay, this has no competition. As you can see, student demand is average, it's not high. Number of courses is low. Monthly revenue is 18. Top is 82. Now, here is a good course to start, a good uh, topic to start creating course on. If you know anything about travel photography, you can start creating course on it. But the thing is that the student demands is average. If it's high, then you are very good because the number of courses out here on Udemy is very low. So if the course is high, if the student demand is high and the number of courses is low, then it's a very good topic to create course on. So you have to do this research before you start creating your course. If you don't do this research and just put any course out there, it might have a high student demand and also a high number of courses, so you won't make any much sales because trust me, they have a lot of professionals. But when the number of courses is low and the student demand is high, you can start creating courses and make a lot of money. In a month, you can sell up to 1,000 USD or whatever. 
So do this research, proper research, and find courses that has high student demand and no number of courses and start creating course content on them and opening on them. You start making passive income like that. They have other uh, statistics here that you can check on. Search volume trend. You can see how many people are searching it on October. There was a drop and a lot of people started searching it on November and December and the rest. You can see the volume uh, percentile across topics. So this is another important statistic to take on. You can see other topics of interest, landscape photography, iPhone photography, natural all this. They have other suggested topics, top search keywords, travel photography, photography, VN. You can see other related topics you can take on and check their student demand and number of courses as well. So enrollment channels, you can see discovery, how people can enroll on your course. So these are some of the things, research you have to do. And if you get a good course, let me say I'm doing travel photography. I'll copy this. I'm doing travel photography. So I'll come back to courses here. Come here and create courses. I'll come back to create your course and click on create your course. So I just gave you guys a bonus tip. Do that research, proper research, before you start creating your course. Don't just come and anything that you think, you just create. Know the market, know your market, and know what's on demand, and put a value out there, a lot of value. The higher the value, the better. You make a lot of money and beat the competition. So as you can see, course or is it a practical test? I'll click on see course, click on continue. Then what's the title? I might say travel photography. But your own imply, simply put it here. So I might say travel photography like a pro. I just need or learn travel photography like a pro. Then they have limited characters here. I click on continue. What can you best fit your knowledge you want to share? So select your category if it's travel, if it's photography, whatever it is, I'll save the relevant video. Click on next. How much time do you spend creating your course? Put how much you spend creating your course. As for me, I'll say five plus hours. Then click on create course. Now I'm going to start creating my course for me. So here is where you add all the contents of your course. You add the description, the title, images, videos, and the rest. So I'll show you guys a quick rundown. Here is target your student. Here is where you put what your student will learn. They will learn how to snap uh, photography at night. They will learn how to snap quality photography like a pro. They will learn how to. So you can add multiple answers here. I can add this and put. I add this and add another thing. Are your courses requirements? Is there any requirement? You might say no. There's no requirement. If you want to enroll in this course simply just enroll your target students people that are looking to learn photography you just add them here yeah, i don't want to make this video very really long but you get the idea just write people that are your target then the course structure course structure is something that describes how your course will look like the outline with an outline introduce yourself that just giving you what you need to start so this is just like a tutorial so this is set up and test still read the, go through all this and learn what this is saying then here's where you can add your themes and edit things so you can add themes here and edit things here's your curriculum once you come to curriculums you can add your contents like upload your videos and all the rest so this is lecture one introduction so upload a video you can select the video you want to i can close this add content drop this menu add description what the video is all about add resources like articles or whatever you referenced on the video maybe a link where they can download the software or whatever click on content here's where you can upload the video itself i might click here select video to open up your local computer then find the video you want to upload. I might just put this for the purpose of this tutorial or this. I click on open. So it will now start to upload this video. Once you upload it, I can add the description that I want, the resources I want, and all that. As you can see, it's a bit 
fast and it's uploading so you can upload this and if you are done with this you can add another section i can add another section here plus uh it's a lecture i want to add a lecture i'll put the title add lecture so let me add a title so this may be travel let me just say travel so this is travel add lecture then this is lecture one this is lecture two so add content i can upload another video again so i can add multiple lectures under section one so the section by section section one might have two videos two lectures right and i'll come down here add another section section add the title the description then add other lectures as well so each section have lectures so you can go hard and go up to 10 10 uh, sections rather 10 sections each having up to one video lectures or two videos lectures explaining what you do like a travel photography i'll explain how to use the camera how to adjust for focus how to do anything that you want to do and after that you are done so after doing that here is where you add captions which is optional captions are like subtitles and the rest so here's where you can add uh subtitles but before this can work you need to upload your videos so there's no videos yet so to add captions here is not uh possible for now but if i add videos i can add it so this is your landing page if anyone clicks on your course then they want to buy it this is what they are going to see the course title i've already added it learn travel photography like a pro course subtitle add another subtitle that is uh, related to the title itself add description language is it uh us is in uh, english us level select level your course level is it for beginners is it for experts or all levels so here's where you can add another subcategory photography add landing page what is mainly taught on your course is it photography is it travel then upload your course image here's where you upload your course image maybe your course is about photography like i said i might put a, an image that has to do with travel i might come to here on google and type travel i just try tra travel and come to the images and find a nice picture i might go to pixel base so i might just find this this image and upload it there so this is like a travel this is new york this is paris this is new york rather this is brazil right some planes then i might add a few texts here and there or you can use a website they call free pics so i'll leave the link below so you can easily access this website you can see cool wonderful free copyright uh pictures i can use here so this is freepic.com i'll open it so anything you want to search that is copyright free when it has to do with images you can come here and look for it so i can search for travel here and click on search once you click on search you can see multiple pictures that has to do with travel anyone that you like you can just download it and use photoshop put a few text my experience with this the fewer the text the better if you have a one word or two words the better use uh images to describe what your course is all about if you want to show money or spray money around your images put money there just to attract your uh, target audience but don't use too much text that's the bottom line too much text it doesn't convert so after that you can upload your promotional videos so promotional videos is where you tell people basically what your course is all about before they buy the course you're introducing what the course is so anybody that comes to your course can watch your promotional videos even before buying your course your promotional video is where you sell yourself sell your course to your audience because they will watch your promotional videos after watching it and if it's okay with them they will now buy your course if it's not okay for them 
the one by your course so that's basically how it works. this column is called pricing here is where you put the price for your course you select the currency by default it's on usd you can select 19 usd the almost equivalent of 20 dollars this one 25 dollars 30 dollars so they had the list goes on up to 200 dollars so whatever you want to say your course for you add it here but my experience as a beginner i encourage you guys to put your course at 20 dollars because most people won't buy it because they don't know you and you beginner and probably you might be professional you might not be professional the more professional you are the better you can make so or you can go for free if you want to get more students to register on your own platform first before you start uh making it uh buyable right so i'll just leave it at 20 equivalent of 20 dollars that's tier one and i can click on save but before i click on save i have to add other things on my course so after pricing is promotions here's where you can add coupons and discounts and all that so here's the link to my course if i refer any student if i want to refer any student i'll copy this link and share to people on whatsapp social media on facebook youtube wherever i want to share this i'll share it with people and once they see this they can click on it and open the url and they will see my course so this is my course url here's where you can create a free coupons or paid coupons so coupons you cannot create coupons for a free course so if i've added price and all that i can create coupons here you can create a coupon and add a code so i might add a code chido 247 or chido 042 so anybody that uses that code coupon code to buy the course we have a discount maybe a five dollar discount ten dollar discount as the case may be so here's where you the last one is your course messages anyone that enrolls on your course the welcome message anyone that finishes your course a congratulation message so you can add all this message so that to message people as they buy your course they will see a message welcome to my course it just makes your course look more neat and professional so people will buy your other courses so that's basically how it works so after that click on submit for review so after uploading all these and click on submit for review they will review your courses it takes within 24 hours to three days and they will review your courses and if it's okay and it's okay to their standard and terms and condition they will approve your course and your course will be live so you can upload multiple courses in this so let me go back to course i can upload 10 courses if i go hard on this and focus on creating courses every day i'll create up to 10 courses and upload it on udemy passively to keep accumulating income for me i'll keep getting income every time i'll keep getting income I'll keep getting income from time to time. Income will keep coming into my Udemy account. And I can withdraw this via PayPal, via Pioneer. They have many payments method. I've received payments from Udemy a couple of times. So I know it pays well. So we'll upload a lot of courses here. Many people are not talking about Udemy. I'll teach you guys about Teachable and the rest. They have other uh, platforms where you can upload your courses. So you can create one course, upload it here, and upload it on Teachable and other platforms as well. With time, people will be buying this, and once you look at your dashboard, you might make three hundred dollars. You never know it, and you can withdraw it. It's all passively while you are sleeping. Someone might just buy your course. So that's one cool thing about this Udemy and other online course platforms where you can upload your courses. So that being said, guys, we have come to the end of this video. I'll see you guys on my next video.